Hi, I'm Debbie Caboussis of Delta Lotus Yoga Wellness. And today we're going to talk about our hands, ways to stretch and uh, really release tension we're holding in our hands. We may not realize how much tension we do hold our hands, but it's really there. So let's start with something really simple as in wrist rotation. So I'm just circling my hands, thinking, ah, oh, opening, starting to open things up. You may feel a little snap or hear a little snap, crackle, pop in there. That's the air going out of the joints. Then we'll change the directions. You always want to do it in both directions. I know, it feels good, doesn't it? Coming to a stop, so we're gonna start what I like to call figure eights, and these are, these are fun, more ways to open up. So I'm clasping my hands, and then I'm just going to keep my elbows in and make these motions with my hands. So it's making a little figure eight, if you looked right at the screen, you would see that. Feels nice, okay? opening up the wrist, our lower arms muscles, and ligature and connective tissue have most of the control of our hands. Now you're gonna change the direction, which you might find very interesting. Notice my elbows are still staying in because you know we have dominant hands and we have ways we like to do things and this can be very challenging. Okay, stopping that. And then the next one, we're gonna work at cleaning our carpal tunnels. And this one is really, really good. If you have any stiffness, any carpal tunnel syndrome, anything like that, but it's very good for people with arthritis too. So I'm just gonna take my hand and hold down the fingers of this other hand. And I'm gonna do this for the count of six today. Usually I do 10, but six just to, just to show it. So I'm moving my thumb in and out. So inhaling in, exhaling out. And you may start to feel that down the inside of the wrist. And then I'm gonna to move to my index finger, so I'm gonna to wanna to hold down these other three fingers, in and out. And you may feel more tightness in this finger, and it depends hand to hand also. So I'm just doing six, that was four, five, and six. Now I'm gonna hold down those other three fingers so I can get the middle finger, and same thing, six times. Three, four, five, six. And now the ring finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now the pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six. And before we go on to the other hand, just take a feel. You may feel some difference in the looseness and circulation already in this hand. So we are gonna go on to the other hand. So the thumb first, one, two, three, four, five, six. The index finger, one, two, three, four, five, Six, you may start to notice differences from hand to hand, finger to finger, and then the middle finger. Three, four, five, six, and then the index. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Ah, feel that. Yummy, 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 right? So let's uh, go ahead and uh, flex and extend the wrist. So we're going to turn the palm down and gently, gently straighten this elbow if you can. And gently pull back to the count of, let's go with 15. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then the opposite, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah. And then this side. So while we're doing this side, I'm going to mention here we are extending through the wrist and then we'll be flexing through the wrist. So taking our wrist through range of motion, opening up those lower arm muscles and connective tissue. We'll go five more here. Two, three, four, five. Turn upside down, flexing in the wrist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, and then just feel how that feels. And you might want to roll your shoulder blades down your back after holding those arms up. That feels nice too. Okay, and then I have some just for fun, and you can do any or all of these throughout the day whenever you're feeling tired in the hands or even just feeling a little stressed, you'll feel that this help starts to loosen up the rest of your body. So the first one, and I'll, I'll give some credit here, one of my teachers, Baxter Bell, has some great little ones, and some of these are his, and some of them are mine. So the first one is called Jazz Hands. So that's just for fun. So I'm just waving my hands back and forth. I don't know if you remember the movies with the jazz hands. So there's jazz hands there. And then the next one is a pulling a rabbit out of the hat. So this is starting to involve the shoulders a little more. It's nice if you've been sitting at a computer all day kind of thing. And my favorite one of his is the Jerry Lee Lewis. If you know Great Balls of Fire. So I'm playing the piano here and, and then you can do all sorts of things. You can just decide whatever you want that moves your hands. And then my own personal one, which actually I stole from Pulp Fiction, and this involves the shoulders too. So I put my fingers up like this and they come across my eyes. I follow it with my eyes and there you go. So that's the end. Play around with it. Enjoy it. If you have wrist issues, try to do something about three times a day and you'll start to feel better in the hands. Okay, so happy hands, happy heart. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like it and subscribe to my channel and look at my other videos and I will catch you again soon. Namaste.